All right. First of all, who is Ray Rhodes the second? Oh, who a, is he? Come on, <laughs> let the fans know, man. It's a big question, but I'll answer it the best way I can. So I came here uh, a couple years back, like ten years ago. I came here with um, very little amount of money, so three hundred dollars to be exact. I worked in Venice Beach, you know, clean toilet. Being coming here as an immigrant with no social security, I was illegal then. So I have I was using a friend's social security back then. So now, on his pay, he cuts me half of the check. Me doing the work. So fast forward, most Filipino come here to do healthcare. <laughs> you know, so I did that, and I took care of a lot of elderly people and made money there. I worked for. 24 hours, seven days a week, with no day off, and not couldn't even go home. Did you have any health benefits? No. So, so yeah, up. but. So you weren't union then. No. No, no union. Okay. But <laughs> la, la, Lux uh, stroke uh, got a hand of me when my patient died. Um, I found a place. It's called the uh, House of Dream in North Hollywood. There were like 16 people, two bedrooms, one bathroom, hmm. in one apartment. But most, most people in there are dreamers, you know, they're dancers, they're, they're actors, they're, they're directors and producers. To cut the long story short, I produced my first film, Broken Roads, and now I have six movies under my belt. Okay, now, let's get to this, because I think there was a shortcut right there, <laughs> yeah, I, Okay, so, shortcut. how you went from uh, doing health work to making a movie, man? Did you have, like, movie background? Or how did you end up going into the film business? It, it's really easy. Some people go to school to make films. You just go for it. I just made movies. That's all. And, 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 and this is what I wanted to get to, man. And I think Ray and I kind of like... A, we're not in the same frequency, but we are in the same frequency, if you guys can <laughs> believe. Because one thing is talking about it. I see a lot of people talking about it. I see a lot of people say, you know what? I want to do this. Or I could do this better than Ruckus. You know what I mean? But... One thing is saying it, another thing is doing it. Like you said, people go to school to do movies. Another thing is making a movie. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, you know what? This this horror film sucks. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> I wrote a horror film. I have the script. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't pitched it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I, I lacked on. But how many people would do that? You know what I mean? Just to go into a script and start writing it. You know, write the story. Write everything. Not a lot of people would do that. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you went from like, I'm going to do it. And I, you, made a, you made a film. Now you made six films. We are making another one this uh, this year. It's a docu-series about boxing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk to me about that, man. Um, actually, um, we are making a docu-series with uh, Vince Lozano. It's called uh, Ten Counts. We are already starting to shoot uh, this, this week. It's going to be a documentary series about a life of a boxer preparing before the fight. We always see a, a prize fighter. They get paid big, but we do not understand the hard work behind it. Exactly. So what we're trying to do is we will, we will start here in Los Angeles, then move city to city, then we're going to go all over the world. How, how does the Mexican train? Right. How does the Russian train? So we go, yeah, we go to Russia, we go to Mexico, we'll go to Philippines, we'll go to Thailand, and just shoot and make us understand the diet and the science behind their training. And, and then maybe you know me being here at Legends and watching these kids train and everything, you you respect these fighters a little bit more, right? Because other than that, we're just like criticizing. No, this guy doesn't do this, or he sucks, or he's a bum, but. Doing a document like that, you're able to see the point of view from them and respect yeah. them as the fighters and understand the hard work they put in.